the holographic solution I use show that every proton has the information of all other protons in the universe within them. And it, the solution is exact, you know, although the numbers are enormous, it outputs the exact mass and radius of the proton and the atoms and the electrons and all this stuff. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. This is Ogrodowski of We Are Change.org here at a very intense mental, physical, and spiritual experience called Burning Man. I have the distinct honor and pleasure to be joined by Haseem Harrison. A lot of people have been enthralled with you here. You have a very uh, significant scientific background and many people here have been telling me he's able to explain all the hippy dippy and spiritual stuff we've been talking about for years. So if you could, uh, for the people who don't know you, tell, tell us about your scientific background and what you do. Uh, I wrote um unified field equations to unify quantum physics with relativity um, and it's taken me like a 25 year um, or more like 30 year research uh, to get there but what's important is that the solution is something remarkable it's something that you know actually transcend what you can expect from physics and moves into the realm of consciousness and what people called spirituality which I actually believe is the physics we don't quite understand yet and you know as well as actually predict very important fundamental constants and and the size of things like the proton the electron their mass and all the material world mm -hmm. now there's a lot of mumbo jumbo out there there's a lot of people just making things up all the time but you kind of quantify it. you kind of scientifically break it down but then you also kind of simplify it you had a new scientific discovery that you kind of debuted here at Red lightning you gave a three-hour speech now do it now tell us what it was in a minute <laughs> well the new solution that I um, uh, I came up with with dr. Al Amira Val Baker in the last few months is what I presented and it's it's remarkable because it's it it outputs the mass and the spin of the electrons for all of the table of elements with no free parameters and it's ex it's it's extremely accurate relative to the measurement that we're getting in laboratory more accurate than the standard model is and it does it without free parameters that is there's no fudge factor where the the standard model has some 21 free parameters um, to achieve that so it's really incredible and it, what it says it says that you know there's a structure there's a space-time between you and me, the space in you and the space in me, because we're made mostly out of space, atoms are made of 99.99999% in space, is full of energy and it's that energy that creates the material world. And it's that energy is not just a random energy, it's actually energy that's carrying information, just like a radio, you know, is tapping into electromagnetic waves that we're emitting, um, you know, that information is actually constantly evolving and creating higher and higher level of complexity that eventually make human beings and planetary system and biological entities and all this. So, so it touches way past physics but what's exciting is that the solution at the physical level are extremely exact which tells you that the theory is correct and that there is enough um, you know support for it to actually start to like expand the theory and see where it leads us and I think it's gonna lead us somewhere incredible it's been mind-blowing listening to you, to you talk. I know a lot of people here are like, yeah, Burning Man drugs. You don't need drugs at Burning Man. You just <laughs> need you and your lectures. And it's been, it's been very profound and very amazing because uh, a lot of times the scientific community kind of shuns this kind of information. They kind of, kind of like to stay in the old realm. And I know there's this constant push back and forth and a lot of people, especially within the establishment, want to keep it where it is. Right. But what kind of progressions have you seen? What kind of battles have you faced because of that? Uh, it's been difficult, it's been a long journey. In the last um, 16 years, 20 years, um, mo a lot of my work has been censored. It's been very difficult to move forward. It's hard to publish. You know, there's a lot of resistance. I, you know, it, it's hard for me to get through to the mainstream scientific community and the physics community. But behind the scene uh, of the institutions, because that's the institution, 
physicists in general are honest people and many physicists around the world now you know read my paper and can see because the math is a math and it talks for itself that there's something very powerful there and so we're getting so much inquiry and attention from behind the scene um, these physicists are unable to publicly endorse what I do because they would get in trouble, lose their job and all this stuff. So, but it's on its way. Uh, it takes time, you know, to change a paradigm, especially a paradigm that's been there for a hundred years, you know, and so um, what's exciting is that the data now in laboratory is supporting what uh, the solutions are and, you know, this leads to like, and that's important for people to know, this leads to technologies that are going to blow your mind. I mean, we'll be able to extract energy directly from the structure of space-time anywhere we are, control gravity uh, so that we, with, with gravity control, we'll be able to like free ourselves from the surface of the planet, live in the universe as a whole, live in our solar system, you know, have access to almost infinite amount of resources. It's, you know, this is a path forward that could really make a huge difference in humanity being able to overcome the difficulties we have today. Wow. Amazingly well put. Um, Tough question I'm going to ask you, but with all the recent kind of scientific discoveries that have been happening, uh, which ones do you think are the most important ones? Obviously the ones that you're working on are very, very important, but what do you think all these scientific discoveries, uh, what, which ones do you think are important and w what are the kind of conclusions that are breaking the old paradigm? Um, I think one of the things that excites me the most, and it, it might sound weird because you'd expect me to say some electronic device or whatever, um, is um, the discoveries that are occurring in biology right now where we're actually seeing how important the uh, structure of water is um, because you know in biology water although it's the majority of our body has always been thought as, as just some background you know fluid that you could you know, that you could ignore and now you know new data for instance from only like three weeks ago uh, they're able to see the water molecule is actually modulating the DNA and it's the water that's that's making the DNA fold in certain ways in such a way that it can you know transmit information and 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 copy information across strands and all this and so it actually you know is the water and of course we came out of water everything emerges that's alive emerges from water so you expect that water is an important part of you know life creation and biological system so I think this is changing we're starting to realize wait a minute water is not just the background is like 10 layers of water molecules that that um, that pack the DNA strain and without without those layers the DNA is dead it can't do anything and so the information memory in the structure of water and then um, we just published a paper uh, it actually just got accepted at uh, neuroquantology uh, you know a very good um, uh, scientific journal um, and it's a paper where we actually address the fact that uh, the brain m is not the part that's manufacturing consciousness but actually it is you know like an antenna and the water structure um, is part of this antenna and, it, and the, the pulse of the water structure and all the fluids in your body and all this act like a bio oscillator and you're actually capting information from that field that I was describing earlier so that consciousness is not something that's inside of you but it's actually something that you're interacting with wow. that's in the field of information that's in the morphogenetic field if you'd like you know wow. yes thank you so much for breaking that down in such a scientific way I remember watching water the great mystery this documentary oh, yeah. and it just totally blew my mind away and the information compounding that's coming out now is I would say kind of even proving all this hippy dippy stuff that all these hippies have been talking about forever. Right. But but my, my last question is I, I think yeah. people, you know, instinctively know these yeah. things. Uh, it's just that because we've been like bred out of them, uh, you know, we stopped believing them. Uh, the hippies maybe went back to it, but, uh, but now science is starting to actually confirm that this is really the way things are and that like when you say we're all one, it's not just a spiritual concept, but actually that is 
the way things work. The holographic solution I use show that every proton has the information of all other protons in the universe within them. And it, the solution is exact, you know, although the numbers are enormous, it outputs the exact mass and radius of the proton and the atoms and the electrons and all this stuff. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. Beautiful information, beautiful Thank scientific you. discoveries. Uh, last question. Did you have fun at Burning Man and what's your playa name? I don't have a playa name. Uh, I, uh, I haven't been given one yet. Okay. Um, you know, somebody called me Merlin yesterday, <laughs> so I don't know. But uh, I'm having the best time at Burning Man. It's been great. You know, you know, people say you come to Burning Man to rave and party and all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's some of that, but I think like Burning Man is maturing and people come to Burning Man to connect with the community and it's amazing the people that are here. The talent that's here, I mean, the, the information that's here, the people thinking like, this is not just hippy-dippy anymore. Yep. You know, there's amazing people here, very, very qualified engineers, scientists, you know, business people, all this stuff. And, you know, they come here and they connect and business emerges from them. I mean, there's all sorts of things that happen at Burning Man that could not happen in any other, you know, um, um, venue. And so it, it's an important part of, um, you know, connecting the dots and, and building the community mm -hmm. and building the possibility for, for a future for the planet. Like we all learned at our camp, Red Lightning, which was an awesome, connecting, beautiful um, people, just among us, yourself included. Mm -hmm. And uh, Merlin, thank you so much, man. Give me a hug. Uh, thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. This is Zuckerdowski of We Are Change the Org here in the barrios of Caracas, Venezuela, one of the top murder capitals of the world. What am I doing here? I'm crazy. As a journalist, I try to give you stories that all the other journalists are afraid to show you. I want to show you the raw truths of exactly what's happening in this world, but I think I did too much coming here to Venezuela. I'm joined by another crazy man, the one and only Jeff Berwick of the Dollar Vision.